first niece. Um, I'm speaking on behalf of our family. I spent many, many days up at Wildwood. I was there for the last week and a half of my aunt's life when she was only released from hospice so that I could be there or as long as someone was there 24 hours a day. Um, I spent a lot of time talking to Merv. My primary goal was that he needed to release her so that she could move on. But we spent a lot of time talking about Wildwood over the years that they were married and afterwards until he passed away. Um, I, I'm not used to speaking except to primary children. Um, anyway, um, I was outraged when I found out that, that TLC was in, even considering selling Wildwood to a private individual because Merv stressed, he came to Victoria to talk to the children in my class and in my school. He talked about the necessity of maintaining the, the biodiversity of the entire forest. He, um, he was um, a mentor to um, a family that I still contact in, or I'm in contact with from Holland. Um, from the Netherlands, he in, he was so delighted when the for when Wildwood finally re received the inalienability label because then he knew it would be protected in perpetuity to continue his work and and I know Mark Brandon and I, I admire him as as a sawyer as a as a person who works with wood. He built a lovely bench in memory of my aunt. Unfortunately, the beaver liked it better. Um, but Jay Rastogi was Merv's student. He taught Jay his philosophies for dealing with the forest. Um, Mark wasn't. He, was, he worked on the property with his portable sawmill. I think it's really important that to continue Merv's legacy, as far as my family is concerned, we need to look at people who know what they're doing and to continue protecting the forest. I know there's been concerns that logging hasn't been done. I know at the end Merv was concerned, but it, but it seems like there's been this pull between what the Land Conservancy wants and what Eco-Forestry wants. And we as a family are left in the middle wondering what on earth is going on. My parents and my aunt and uncle are both buried. Their ashes are spread in a garden there. We would very much like to continue to be able to, there's a memorial stone there and that. We want Wildwood protected in the public domain, available to everybody, and we want to continue to be declared inalienable because that's what Merv wanted. 